I don't think people should be unduly um, worried about that because, as I said to you, the disease is not common. And the, even though there's an actually a, a, probably a reasonably high risk, as, relative risk associated with a load of common variants, then in terms of absolute risk, it's quite small. Secondly, the disease isn't actually particular. It's unclear that actually diagnosing the disease earlier is going to lead to any change in the natural history of the disease. And that compares very differently to what happens in colorectal cancer where you have major genes that have very profound effects. So an example is a mutation in APC, which predisposes to colorectal cancer, will increase the risk. Well, it, it, you'll inevitably have colorectal cancer by in your four, fourth decade. And in fact, you can intervene with prophylactic surgery. And in fact, whereas in the case of CLL, even if you were going to intervene, all you're going to do is produce lead time bias. So there's actually really, I think you can be very reassuring. There's nothing really to be concerned about from a familial predisposition point of view at this moment in time. The real benefit for understanding genetics is that we understand much more about the actual biological basis of the disease, and that does open up the possibility of intervening, of developing of novel therapies, okay? And that's really the key point, that we're actually understanding what initiates the disease. And I'd like to actually optimistically think in the future we'll actually understand why the disease develops in the first place, and then, of course, you can intervene uh, and essentially shut the disease down, okay? And that's obviously has to be the most important aspect in any medicine. It's no treatment is ultimately, in one sense, a subsidiary component to actually prevention. It's rather like if I analogous in the case of cholera, you don't treat cholera by rehydration, or you well, so you don't prevent it. That you actually try and stop the source problem. But of course, that's a long way off. And in fact, we're in a very much an infancy period in CLL as in terms of etiological basis compared to, let's say, colorectal cancer or breast cancer, for which we know much more about the genetics of the disease.